Hey guys, it's me. So, uh, just got done with the Sony conference. Bit strange. I'm kind of listening to the kind of funny um, pre post show as I'm talking to you right now. Uh, but yeah, this is me multitasking. I gotta say, I liked what they did after the break and before the break. But the bit where they broke it and they just went over to like Sid Schumann. I mean, normally I can't be asked that bloke anyway, but what was that? You know, I mean, you had this small barn where it looked to be about 800 people, maybe 1,000, depending on how deeply they were sitting them in. But yeah, and then I thought, wow, okay, they've got to move all those people to another space. Because that's what they're doing, is like, okay, this is a logistical nightmare. You know, you get now about 800 to 1,000 people to upend, sit somewhere else, get settled. You know, and we're talking about the press here, so they'll have equipment. It's like, it just seemed like a, a strange decision. Then we find that, like, they're not moving again, they're in this great big hall. Which looked awesome. I mean, that gigantic wraparound screen was just... Wow. I mean, that's obviously Sony's TV technology at play there. I mean, that thing was incredible. Um, and then they just showed really, really sweet demos. Now, weird thing was, on the PlayStation Twitch app, during the Ghost of Tsushima uh, uh, presentation, the sound kept dropping. So that was kind of disappointing. In fact, at one point the stream just stopped dead. But luckily, I had it here on my tablet at the same time, so I was able to pick it up. But, uh, yeah. Technical difficulties aside, though, and with the weird break, they showed some really good stuff. I mean, the Death Stranding trailer, it's like, it was nice to finally get a bit more of an idea of what is actually going on in that game. And it's, um, uh, hmm. So I'm guessing that the weird spectral death creatures of obviously mucked up infrastructure to such a degree where you know it's hard to do anything like move stuff around so you have to have special people that move stuff around it for you it's like uh whatever this norman Reed's character is this sam porter dude strong but you see all those boxes he was carrying them it's like crazy ah oh, man <laughs> strong dude Anyway, so like, you know, we had a bunch of really cool trailers. I mean, the Spider-Man bit of gameplay was awesome. The Ghost of Tsushima gameplay was awesome. Death Stranding gameplay was awesome. Um, all the, and all the other ones they chucked in that we didn't know were coming looked really, really good. And, of course, the Last of Us 2 stuff was just beautiful and brutal at the same time. So, you know... Content wise, great, great show. Just that break, and you know, when they shifted from one room to another, you know, seriously hindered the flow of the showcase. And I still think that was a, you know, a bad decision. If they, maybe they'd had like, you know, I don't know, a quicker way to do it then that would have been interesting or just stayed in that one bigger arena because that was kind of cool. I like the little impassioned speech we got from Sean Lane at the beginning. It was nice. It was felt like he actually you know, wanted to be there and he wanted to tell us stuff and he wanted us to be infused. And that was cool. I think the one thing that annoyed me the most was Dreams themselves, right? They were in little bits in between. And they were also hosting the PlayStation stream on their own Twitch channel. But there was nothing really substantial from Dreams at all. And there should have been. You know, Dreams needed to be shown, dated and shown, at least a demo at this year's E3. And the fact that they didn't do that is a big hole for me and uh, I gotta say the games themselves 
more impressive than what Microsoft put on, but the pacing was all over the place. So, initially I said in a previous video that Microsoft won. I don't know if I can say they won, but I don't know if I can say Sony won. And I like what I saw earlier this evening, or rather yesterday evening, from Ubisoft. Because it makes now 25 to 4 in the morning. Ah. Ubisoft had a good show. A really good show with some really nice stuff. Very much like The Division. Very, very much like The Division too. And the Bion Good and Evil stuff and all the rest of it, they put on a good show. So, what I've got to say is basically between Microsoft, Ubisoft and Sony, I think it was a dead heat, you know. Microsoft, um, Ubisoft kind of, you know, they kind of played it a bit low-key but they showed you interesting things that you want to know about but then they kept on slowing it down by doing things like Rabbids and For Honor, like, I just don't care about those games in the slightest. I cared about For Honor right at the very beginning, and then when I saw, as soon as they actually started to really talk about it and show it, I was like, no, no, and no, and no, and a further batch of no. So, yeah, it's a dead heat. There is no first place. It's sort of like they're all balancing on top of the first place podium. Going, woo -hoo -hoo. The only thing we can say for any certainty, or at least my only certainty, is that EA were the worst. They sucked badly. Square Enix, don't know why they even bothered turning up. Bethesda, quality show, definitely. Um, but I think they had to call a long time to get going. And I think the Andrew WK bit at the beginning, as much as I like Andrew WK, me being a metal bloke and everything, I think that was a mistake. And they rambled on a bit and took a while for Bethesda to get going. So, yeah, Bethesda takes second place with Sony, Microsoft and Ubisoft taking joint first. Uh, but tell me what you think, guys. Typey, typey down below. And... Uh, Hopefully at uh, this year's PSX, not only will we get Dreams, but we'll also get that PlayStation name change. Anyway guys, rate, favourite, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, as always, I, ne bother.